I am so excited to jump into today's combination of Pilates and strength. We are blending the two worlds together to keep your body guessing and to give you an amazing workout. Now what you'll need is a pair of dumbbells, something light to medium, and you can also grab some ankle weights if you wish, pop them around your wrist, around your ankle, double up if you have two pairs. Let's just amplify this and have a great time while we move our bodies. And it's a flow style class, so just follow along. And if you're on day seven of this Pilates and Strength program, amazing work, we made it. It's day seven and let's jump. All right, let's start seated. We don't need any weights to begin. We're gonna start with some Pilates abs. So let's grab and tuck those hands behind your knee or the back of your thigh. Lifting up tall from the crown of your head, take an inhale. As you exhale, curve out the spine, round the back, and then recenter. So inhale and exhale, contract, and then coming back up, inhale. So starting with some activation with our abs. Getting that nice curl and C curve in the spine. Inhale, exhale, do one more. Inhale, on this one, exhale, slowly release and roll down slowly, bone by bone, and then shake it out at the bottom. Now let's hug both knees into your chest, lift up from the shoulder blades, extend your right leg long as you hug your left knee into your chest and switch, and switch. Really hug that knee in to get a nice hip opener and lengthen out the other leg, really extend. The lower the leg, the harder it is on those lower abs. So you can always lift them up a little higher Keep that lower back on the mat. Three, a little quicker, two, and one. Laying down, press those hands into the earth, tabletop the legs, alternating toe taps. Right and left. Right and left. Really pressing that belly button into the spine, especially as you lower that toe to the ground, press it in. Last three, two, and one. Beautiful, hug the knees in. Now we're going to place those, the head into the hands. Let's extend that left leg long. Bend the right knee. Twisting that left arm across the right knee and then back to center. So we're hovering that left leg off the ground. Twist, recenter. If you need to, you can just place that left leg on the ground if that's too much. Otherwise, let's hover. If you did my class the other day on this seven day program, we did this with the leg down. Now we're taking it up a notch. Really hook that elbow outside the knee. Last two and one. Now extend the leg straight into scissor kicks, alternating right to left. Really hug the knee in. You're getting a nice stretch as we strengthen. Last five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, let's move into the other side with those single leg bicycles. Hover the right leg, twist and hook outside the knee. Lifting up from the shoulder blades. Once again, if the hover is too much, just place that right leg down. Still twisting and rotating up and across. Three, two, and one. Second set of scissors.
Really lift up from the shoulder blades. Can you lift an inch higher? Four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Roll those knees around. Give your spine a little massage here. Your lower back. Beautiful, then let's plant the feet into the earth. Warming up the glutes here. So pressing those hips high and then back down. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Think about driving through the heels here. So maybe lift up the toes or wiggle the toes to make sure we're pressing through the heels to get that glute action. Squeeze and hold at the top. So try not to rush through the movement. One more, hold it at the top. Now we're gonna lift alternating legs in a marching bridge. Lift and lower. The aim here is to keep those hips nice and steady. Maybe even hold on to those hips to make sure they don't sway. If you want to make this harder, reach those hands to the ceiling. So strong. Last two. One more. Beautiful roll down through the spine. Take a moment. We're going to grab on to one weight. So take one dumbbell to start. Have that other weight handy. I'm gonna bring this other weight by my side. Starting with one weight on your hip. We have a single leg bridge. So press up through the left foot. Extend that right leg, long point the toe. Drop the leg, lift the leg. Drop the leg, lift the leg. So it's a leg raise as we're in that bridge hold. We're not here long. Burn it out with me, keep those hips steady. Three, two, one. Now just hold it here. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, beautiful. Now grab the weight. We'll do the other side after this glute bridge and chest fly section. So weights kiss together. Lift those hips up. We have one chest fly, one bridge. So two weights, open up, close, hips come down and up. Chest fly, glute bridge. So back to that bilateral. Keep that core nice and strong. Last two. On this last one, hold it. Little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, drop to one weight again. We're doing the other side. So now we're pressing up through the left leg. Press up, hold your bridge, point the toe, leg lower and up. Keep that core nice and strong. Stabilize, really drive up through the left heel, high in that glute bridge. Feel the burn, feel the shakes. Ready for that hold with the leg. Ready, one more, and hold, five, four. Extend the leg out, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, team. Now we have a narrow press. Kiss the weights together. 
tabletop the legs. So weights come down and up. As the weights come down and up, we're gonna extend one leg out and in. Out and in. So bicycle the legs as we press. Pressing that lower back into the mat. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Last three, two, and one. Beautiful. Butterfly the legs. So knees fall out. We're on the outside of our feet, driving through the heels, lifting up in a bridge. Butterfly bridge, flip the palms out, wide chest press, and then butterfly bridge, hips down and up. Let's go. One chest press, one bridge. Beautiful, almost there. Last two. One more. Now hold it at the top. Let's lift up from the heels. And now we're gonna bring the knees in and out. Abductions, hold the weights there. 10, nine, eight. Squeeze those knees together. Good, five, four, three, two and one beautiful come all the way down let's sit up place those weights down for a second shake it out we're gonna move into a little sideline series Whew. and we are glistening with sweat already that is a good sign now we just need one weight for this section so we're gonna come down on to our left side we have a clam with a rotator cuff opener. So here and in. Open and close. Ready, off you go. Now you can also do this one all the way down if you wanna lay down all the way. If this is more comfortable for you. Or you can come upright, whichever you prefer. It is quite nice to lay all the way down. But I like to give options, you know, maybe one feels better than the other. Good, three, two, one more, and one. Ooh. Now coming up on that elbow, if you're not already, we're gonna extend that weight to the ceiling as we open up in that clam. As we come down, bring the knees together, thread the needle, and open. Thread the needle, open. If this is too much with that weight, you can always do this unweighted, especially on that rotator cuff. These weights, for me, are on the heavier side for this move. So take your time, listen to your body, do one more, hold it there, now extend the leg, hold for five, four, three, two, one. So good. Now still on this side, we're gonna come up onto that left arm all the way. We're gonna row and press, and then bring it back down. Ready, off you go. Row, press, and back down. One more, hold it there. 
bend the elbow, lift the leg, and then shoot the arm back up as you drop the leg. So in and out, in and out. Finish strong here. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, shake it out. Okay, now we're on all fours, quadruped position, still working that right arm. Extend that left leg, tuck the left toes under, have that weight in your right arm. We've got a row and then bring it back down. So just a single arm row to start. We will add on to this. Keep the hips parallel to the ground. Do one more. Now we're gonna lift the leg. So lift that left leg off the ground, stabilize. Row, kick back and back down. Give me a row, extend and back down. And if you've got medium weights like me, this is a bloody challenge. Think strong, you got this. In a moment, we're gonna drop the weight. Keep the leg high. Do two more. Last one. Okay, drop the weight. Pulse the leg, pulse the arm. 10, nine, little kickback with the arm as we pulse the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose. All right, team. We're gonna do a all of that again on the other side. So, shake it out. Shake out those shoulders. My shoulders are feeling gassed today. I've done a bit of boxing lately. I'm feeling the shoulder burn. It's good, we're gonna have strong sculpted shoulders after this one. All right, starting with those clams. So, clams with the rotator cuff. If you're happy up here, otherwise, Come all the way down. Really hug that elbow in tight to the body. So we're just rotating, that external rotator here. As we open up the knee, so does the arm. One more. Ooh, all right, now. We're lifting up in that thread the needle with the weight. Ready, lifting up, thread the needle, scoop it under, open. Thread the needle. Really lifting up out of the bottom hip. So strong. One more, finish this last one, hold it there, lift up the top leg, five, four, three, two, one. Coming down, let's extend that right arm, come up on that right knee, row to press. Last two here. One more. Extend the arm. Now bend the elbow, lift the leg. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Oh, all right, quadruped position. We're still working that left arm. 
tuck the right toes under, extend the leg. Starting with that single arm row. Squeeze it in, recenter. Really drawing the shoulder blades together, hitting that back. We'll add the tricep kickback in three, two, one. Now lift the leg, add the kickback. So extend that right leg off the ground. That's going to create instability. So you're really working that core stability by keeping strong. Keep both hips facing parallel. Row, kick back, stay strong. Shoulders in line, hips in line, breathe. One more. Drop the weight, lift the leg higher, pulse the arm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Pop that weight off to the side. Take a child's pose. Open up the hips. Breathe. Take a moment here, you've earned it. Inhale, exhale, melt into the mat. All right, team. Let's bring it home strong. So, bare plank. Hover the knees up an inch off the mat. Bare plank, push back into your downward dog. Back to your bare plank. Downward dog. Flow through this. Get a nice stretch. And then strengthen in that bare plank. Hold and hover for a breath. Push back for a breath. Make sure those knees are underneath your hips, palms underneath your shoulders, tummy is tucked in tight. One more. Hold that bear plank for me. Hold. Shift forward and back for five, four, three, Two, one, shift back into your downward facing dog. Now you can pedal out the calves here. Get a nice little stretch. Now when you're ready, let's lift that right foot off the mat. Little pulses to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee to nose. Shoot it back, three-legged dog. Do that two more times. Hug it in. Shoot it back on this last one. Hug it in. Step that leg through. Lift those hands up into your lunge. Now I want you to cactus the arms as you sink into that lunge and then lifting up tall. Sink into the lunge for four, three. Really pull down with the arms. Two, one. Lifting up. Bring those hands back down in that lunge. Kick that leg back into your three-legged dog. And then bring the leg back down. Pedal out. Let's do the other side. Lift that left leg to the sky. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose. Shoot it back. Knee to nose. Really bring that knee in. One more. Knee to nose. Step it through. Lift those hands up. Really sink into that left knee. Lunge down. Pull down with the arms. Extend. Pull down for four. Three. Two. One. Extend up. Come back down through your lunge. Shoot that leg three like a dog. Back to your downward facing dog. Beautiful, and let's just walk those hands back to your feet. Hang down here, take an inhale. As you exhale, roll up slowly, bone by bone. Whew, shake it out. Yo, 
The sweat is real today. It is hot in studio today. I didn't switch the aircon on. No air conditioning and it's, what is it? Like 30 degrees today. 30 degrees Celsius is hot. All right, we're finishing off. Less talking, we're finishing off strong. Grab your weights. Now, haven't got long to go. Point those toes out. Sumo squat. Weights are coming down. As you stand up, give me an upright row. Ready? Off you go. Sumo squat. Upright row. All the way down, sink low into that squat. Last two, squeeze it up, one more. Amazing, now we have a deadlift on the right leg. If you can, float that back leg. Deadlift into a hammer curl and bring that left knee up. So. Deadlift down, hammer curl. If you need to, keep this leg back for that deadlift and then bring that knee up for the hammer curl. So you can come back and hammer curl. Take your time, find that balance, find that strength. You are so strong, even if you wobble. Catch that balance. Core is tight. One more, finish it off. Beautiful, we're flipping straight into the other side. So deadlift on the left, float that right leg if you can, right knee up as you hammer curl. Once again, you can take that modification on the deadlift. So kick the leg, still get that hinge down, and then scooping that leg up. So it's a balanced bicep curl. All about the strength and stability on this one. Two more reps. Last one. Now we have a squat to press. So feet underneath your hips, squat it down, weights to the ceiling, off you go. All the way down and up. Dropping that booty all the way down, sitting into the heels, pressing and punching the weights up to the ceiling. Inhale to lower, exhale, punch up. Beautiful, last 15 seconds. Finish strong here for five, four, three, two, one more, and squat down, hold and pulse for five, four, three, sit a little lower, two, and one. Beautiful, weights down, you are done. Shake it out, shake out those legs, shake out those arms. Take an inhale, reach those hands overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center, do one more inhale. All that strength and exhale, bring them down through heart center. Amazing work. I'll link a cool down so you can have a complete workout. So I encourage you to cool down. Check that out in the description. Otherwise, have an amazing rest of your day. And if you are doing the seven day series with me, this completes the seven days and I'm just so proud of you for showing up and I cannot wait for many more workouts and series together and I hope you feel strong, empowered and I'd love to hear your feedback. So comment, like, subscribe, all the things and thank you. Have the most beautiful day and we'll see you next workout.